I say, I hope you understood I meant today. So, Mr. Bell, what inventions are you concocting? I intend to develop a phonetic telegraph that does not just convey dots and dashes, Miss Fry, but the human voice. Phonetic telegraph? Hmm. Sounds a bit of a mouthful. You could just call it a telephone. Telephone? <laughs> How bizarre. Anyway, as I was saying earlier, the press has become entirely dependent on the Static Telegraph Company. Which is why Mr. Green has asked you to set up a free line. Yes. What is more, other small independent companies have had their lines sabotaged. And they have little means of finding any who confuses. Which are... To be found on top of Big Ben. Correct. Especially as one needs a special government pass to get through the guards. They will not be a problem. I'll repair the pieces. Lovely view. set.
That should do it. Thank you very much, Miss Fry. I will now be able to continue with the installation of the new line. If there's anything else I can do to help... Uh, certainly. Please do come and visit. Oh, uh, I was toying with this device and have noted down the formula for you. It, it's not perfect yet, but by golly, it works.
Ah, Miss Fry. Uh, I was just showing Jacob the first message was received via the mended lines. Oh, uh, you can keep the rope launcher, by the way. Um, we've managed to procure another one for your brother. Excellent work. Thank you, again. You're very welcome, Mr. Bell. We can now defend the principle of impartial news and free speech. Free is fair, but free and brief is far better. Ha <laughs> ha! Ah, Fry, such caustic wit. <laughs> And on that note, we must depart. <laughs> oh, uh, good fortune to you both. Uh, call on me. Uh, anytime. 